In a field lies hope, anticipation, from the biggest races to the brightest stages. Forbidden trade with a gigantic upset. Desperate man, there's no desperation, no strike. It's Bulldog Hanover, the fastest mile in harness racing history. For the glory, the pride, the payoff, enter the field. The Ontario Sire Stakes Program, from Ontario Farms to the world stage. Today we're visiting the Back Stable, coming off of one of their best years ever, earning just shy of $2 million in purses. Six in the Super Finals, five in the Breeders' Crown, and one O'Brien Ward winner. They're excited to see what the 2023 season has in stall for them. I'm Jamie McDonald with Harness Racing Updates, Twos and Trading. Welcome to Twos in Training on HRU. Matt Bax, thanks for, jo thanks for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. And congratulations on an amazing season last year. What can you tell us that sticks out the most to you? Uh, we, we had a lot of luck um, and, and it just worked out that a lot of the uh, two-year-olds uh, showed up. We, we only really had duly resolved for the three-year-olds, but uh, uh, you, know, you know how it is with two-year-olds. You never really know what's going to show up and it kind of seemed like a lot of the, the majority of them showed up. Can't ask for more than that. Now is there anything behind the scenes, something small that we don't see that really reflected on your season or kind of changed it a bit? Uh, no, no, not really. It's it's a day to day. Uh, you know, we have our routine. Uh, everybody works hard. Uh, my father and uh, yeah, the, the whole family and the team. But uh, yeah, we just go about our system. You believe in what in our system, and uh, you know the things worked out this year or last year. Talking about those two-year-olds and your four-year-old coming back, tell us who's coming back this season. Who are you looking forward to, and how they're training over this winter? Uh, the the first one might be uh, duly resolved, and they they have that new series, which is, is great for Ontario horses. Um, I don't know if we would have held on to him. Maybe we would have sold him if it wasn't for this series, of like a place to race, because it's so tough for four-year-olds. Um, but with this, it gives us a chance to you know, race in the series, and you see what kind of horse you have after that. Uh, and then there's uh, Righteous Resolve. She's uh, She's been training back great. We're kind of taking our time with her and uh, letting her tell us when she's, when she's ready. Um, no real rush. And... Uh, there's about three or four other ones that are all close to qualifying that uh, we're hoping that if they step up a little more, they could be really nice horses. Now you have your own training facility here at your farm. What is it like taking care of the track all winter? How much work is put into owning your own farm and training center? A lot, a lot of extra, extra work. Uh, I'm very lucky that my family and my wife, <laughs> they're there to uh, support me or take care of the kids or, or whatever. Um, when you have to be on the track late at night or fix this or fix that. But uh, yeah, my father also puts a, a lot of work in. He was he was on the track yesterday, I think, for about four or five hours, grading it with a blade and uh, fixing things up. But uh, yeah, there, there, there's always something. Uh, might be, you know, we grew up on a farm and always been doing that, so I don't really know any different, but uh, it, it is a lot of work. Absolutely, and especially catching that frost in the winter time, and then as it's coming in and out of the ground, uh, this winter has been tough on tracks. It, it has been tough. Uh, we're pretty lucky that uh, the drainage here seems really good, and the, the track's been good. We we haven't missed a, a whole lot of days, so uh, yeah, it's it, it's uh, you never know how it's going to work out for people. Now, coming off of such a strong year last year, uh, are your expectations higher this year, or you kind of reset them every January? I hit the race button every January one, so uh, <laughs> of course you have some of the three-year-olds coming back are, are nice, so you have some expectations there, but uh, if we can duplicate or get a little better, that, that's great, and ho hopefully things work out. Now you are a driver and trainer, so is there a point with a horse where you decide to hand over the reins, or is the goal to kind of keep them in your hands? Uh, usually I like to hand over the reins when they're 
manageable or I have them in a spot where I feel confident with somebody else uh, taking them. Uh, usually when I'm driving, it's they're maybe a little uh, trickier to drive or they're on a line or maybe a little really hot. Uh, but uh, the majority of the time, I like to hand over the lines to those guys. Uh, they're out there every night, you know, eight, ten times a, a night. And uh, I think they get a little bit of an edge. But uh, if, if I'm required to be out there with a, a tough gated one, then uh, I, I'm comfortable doing that too. So let's get into your two-year-olds. We're going to talk about six that we saw out on the track today. The first one is Alexander. He is a, a Glengate homebred. Um, we had the mother. He's a, he's a nice looking muscle mass. Uh, big, strong, and very smart, which it generally happens with a lot of the muscle masses. So uh, we're very happy with him at this point. Next up is Elegant Resolve, $60,000 in Lexington. Yeah, uh, we can't get enough resolves, so that's, uh, um, liked him at the sale, strong, has a nice pedigree, uh, actually surprised that he only went for 60, I thought maybe he'd be a little more than that, so you never knock a discount, but uh, at this point, uh, he's doing everything right. And how about your Walner filly, Friday? Uh, Friday, she's uh, an Al Livefeld homebred, um, she... You know, she's one of the best gated ones we have where she uh, just goes out and does her work. Uh, she's Kentucky eligible, so um, that might be in her future later on. But uh, she's very proportionate, good gated, and uh, yeah, she's, knock on wood, she's been good so far. And the next one here is from Al as well. Woman of Passion. So Woman of Passion has, uh, I, I don't know if you'd be able to get a close up on her ears with the camera out there, but uh, she was born in an ice storm and she uh, got frostbitten ears. So they're, they're folded over. Um, I don't think you could get a hood on her, uh, but she's a big, strong, beautiful horse. And I don't think they wanted to put her through the sale because you know the, she'd get a discount for her ears. So. Uh, I, I think that she, she's going to be a nice horse, good gated, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think the ears are going to be a problem. <laughs> it's just looks. Well, she does look cute with those kind of half floppy ears out there. It's, uh, it's very interesting to see her as she goes. <laughs> I, I've never seen ears like that before. I don't know if <laughs> there has been some before, but... Well, hopefully it'll be good luck on her. And how about for 120000 in Lexington, soar higher? He's... Uh, He's chestnut. Uh, he, he's been a little bit nervous and, and he sees things. Um, but yeah, he has a high price tag. We went out to Cool Creek and he was he looked beautiful out there. He's a pretty aggressive stud, so we had to geld him early. Um, but when he when he puts it all together and is focusing, he's he's fast. So uh, yeah, as long as we can keep him on the right track, we'll be okay. And your last filly here at Kindred Hot Blood. Yeah, she was, uh, I guess, 25000 nowadays, you'd say a discount. Um, she, she had a video where it looked like maybe it was done by like a cell phone or something. It was tough to get a good read on her. But uh, we had her mother, and she was very fast at two and three. Um, so we always look at her offspring. And as a, I was like, geez, you know, she's a good-looking horse. I, I don't know, but you, you have a tough time telling how she moves. And uh, right now, it uh, seems like it was a, a good move at 25000 You know, the, the bar is awful low when you buy them a little cheaper. So, uh, yeah, we're really happy with her. You've talked a little bit about, you know, discounted horses or higher-end priced horses. How do you split your money throughout the sales? Because you hit more than one. So how do you decide where you're going to spend most of your money? Um, well, usually I go by draft picks. I like to go yeah, the hockey route and uh, you know you have some guys that want hey what's the best horse the best video best pedigree and you go your first rounders and um, then you have some people that maybe are looking for like a kinder hop blood a, a discount horse um, so it usually spread the owners out that way through the draft pick system but uh, then, then again, the auction, you never know how much one that you have slated as a little lower, all of a sudden it goes for a lot of money. So, uh, yeah, you just kind of go, well, I guess it's horse by horse, and uh, yeah, usually things work out. 
Well, thank you for joining us and good luck on this upcoming season and hopefully it'll fall right into place for you. Thank you. In a field lies hope, anticipation, from the biggest races to the brightest stages. From in trade with a gigantic upset. Desperate man, there's no desperation in those strides. It's Bulldog Hanover, the fastest mile in harness racing history. For the glory, the pride, the payoff, enter the field. The Ontario Sire Stakes Program, from Ontario Farms to the world stage. Reach the people you have to reach by advertising in Harness Racing Update, the sport's most comprehensive and timely news source. HRU provides the best bang for your advertising dollars because we reach and engage your potential customers anywhere in the world. Not only has HRU grown its subscriber base by nearly 30% in just three years, but our open and click rates far exceed industry averages, which tells us that readers are engaged with the digital publication and how they receive it. Plus, your ad support helps us keep HRU free to subscribers. Find out more today by visiting HarnessRacingUpdate.com and clicking on the advertising link at the top of the page.